Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Nom 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 69's 12th SDL 1.2 tutorial. Like I said in my channel update slash welcome to the channel video, I'm going to finish my SDL 1.2 tutorials before moving on to SDL 2.0. And today's topic is animation. Now, I remember when I first covered blitting images to the screen, I showed you that you could crop the image that you were blitting. So now I'm going to take that one step further as I show you how to do animation. So basically you're going to do the same thing where we did with the crop rectangle except we're going to we're going to move that crop throughout three frames of animation. So first things first we need to load our animated sprite and I already copied that image into the documents for it and here it is. It is a there's one for left, right, up, and down. It's uh, up, down, right, left. And is that's how I put them on the page, or the sprite sheet. But as you can see, it's only three frames of animation. Um, it's very poorly animated. I did it myself. It was just really quickly thrown together. But for this tutorial, we're only just going to look, we're only going to animate one of them. All right? And it'll be really simple. So how the way this animation is going to work is there are three frames of animation. The first frame is the zero frame, right? It's a zero. The second frame is the first, and the third frame is the second. You can see one mess. So um, right now when you run the program, we've got our old, our old little happy face being blooded to the screen. Well, I don't want him to blood anymore. I want our player sprite, is what I called it. Player sprite right up there. I want that to be blitted. So let's go ahead and compile this with F7. Shouldn't get any errors. Yep, succeeded, and now we're blitting. Now we're blitting a sprite. So we need a couple of variables first. First, we need um, an integer and a frame, and that's going to equal zero, right? And then we can have a uh, int max frame is two because there's the zero, the first, and the second frame. All right. And then we're going to have our rectangle, which is going to actually be the literal frame. So actually, I'm going to change this to a curve frame for current frame. All right? And then I'm going to have an SDL rect frame. Now, first we need to figure out how big each frame in our animation is. And that's pretty easy to figure out because I do it all the same way every time I do it. Um, when you run the program, when, you not, when, when I create all my character images they're 64 pixels tall and 32 pixels wide now so that's gonna be real easy to put into the program so our frame dot width equals 32 and frame dot height equals 64 okay so usually you'd have the 32 and the 64 and the width and the height usually you would have them as constants because usually all your characters are gonna be the same size their widths and heights are always gonna be the same size so we've created just like the pretty much the size of the box right there um 32 by 64 box right now we need its location so now we're gonna act well not not its location now we actually need to start blitting it so what we're gonna do is in the blitz surface we're gonna do the image to the screen null the offset last one so what we need is and frame so it's a pointer and frame ampersand and then we compile this and we go ahead and run our program and I know exactly why that happened it's because we didn't give the uh, frame x and y so frame dot x equals zero and frame dot y equals zero and then we go ahead and pop an f7 there we'll go ahead and run our tutorial and there we go now is one frame one frames being blitted to the screen right now and that's simple and so that's pretty easy but now we actually want it to move through each frame so down here in our draw after after we draw we're gonna do uh, curve frame plus equals one now if the curve frame is greater than max frame so if it's greater than the maximum frame curve frame equals zero okay now when we actually run this it's gonna be looping by so fast we okay actually that's not gonna work that's not gonna work I'm sorry that's my bad um, we still have one thing left to do so what we're doing right here is up every time the sprite gets blitted we're gonna move ahead one frame now that's fine but with a uh, rectangle that's cropping it it's still being there it all we're doing is just keeping track of it 
So we need a frame dot x x equals cur frame times frame dot width. Okay, so that's what that's gonna do is it's gonna shift it over. So on frame zero, it's gonna be zero times thirty-two. It's gonna start at zero, right? On the second frame, it's gonna be frame. It's gonna be a uh, liqueur frame two one times thirty-two. So we're gonna move thirty-two pixels over. So within the image, it's gonna move thirty-two pixels over. So now, if we compile it and run it, we're gonna see a really rapid sprite animation. It's gonna be yep. Yeah, there you go. It's just whipping by. So we can actually just go through and shift through all all the different frames but just by changing the y we can do 64 run it and that should be the uh, down animation you're not going to really be able to see it see look now he's he's just spazzing out is really what he looks like um so you can actually like keep track of your player's direction while you're moving around and you can do like uh have up will equal zero down will equal one right will equal two and three and uh, left will equal three and so what will happen is you're just gonna have like for your frame y it will equal direction times the height and that will just shift it through all the frames so we can do 128 here and actually get to see the next frame of animation which is right here he's moving to the right now and then the left will be 196 I think is after you add 64 again no 192 it's 192 I'm sorry 192 I believe 192 we'll see if that's right it's been a minute since I've been doing all those multiples of 64 there you go moving on and that's that's pretty much the basis of how you're gonna animate it you can actually do animation based on time so it's not based on the frame rate because right now it's based on frame every time a frame refreshes you're gonna see the new image getting drawn so it's based on frame rate right now. What you're probably actually gonna end up doing is like if you're making a complicated game based on time. And you're like, how are we gonna do it based on time? There's no time with an SDL. There is. I just haven't done a video on it yet. I, I'm at it's actually in the pipeline, one of the next tutorial actually. So next time, hoping to do it on timers. So once again everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to the video if you liked it. If you learned something, please it's gonna help out the channel a lot. And I'll see you guys next time.